Okay, right. I hate this. And a new chair for there, new armchair here. Oh my god. This actually should turn on, but the battery's dead. <laughs> Today, I am restyling my reading nook, or place I take my pictures. So you might ask, James, why are you restyling it? Well, because, for the obvious reasons, I mean, look at it. It's bare and it's empty and it's boring. And also, I've moved back from Galway and I need a change, I need a fresh space. The whole room will be getting done this year but I wanted to start off with one corner and take it from there. So that is why I'm changing this space, this reading nook, the place I take pictures. I like to change my surroundings. I hate seeing in the same place all the time. It drives me insane. So I'm office upstairs, but also I like to come down here sometimes and lie in my bed and edit or do some work lying down or lying back or sitting comfortably. I just feel like that. I like that relaxedness of it. So I'm very excited about this. So without further ado, let's just, let's get styling. And of course I picked the one day where it's not bright and sunny outside. It's gloomy and cloudy and gray, but we're gonna get past that because we have lighting in here. So <laughs> without further ado, let's just jump into this. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, so this is what the room is like so far. So we're just gonna be re, oops. Okay, right. So this is what the room looks like so far. So we're just going to restyle this area because I wanna change. Um, and also I want like an area where we can come in, sit down, you know, maybe edit, read a book, <laughs> take a few outfit pictures in the mirror because luckily I have all this stuff already because it's all from Galway. I'm going to reset it here. I'm just sick and tired of this space now. I just want something a bit more colourful. So I painted this years ago and I want something with a frame because I got this really lovely art print from my room up in Galway that I just love so much. It has like this, these blue kind of flowers on it. So I'm gonna change it with this and look it's the same size and also this is just stuck to all with them sticky things. Fantastic if you're renting and you don't put holes in the wall or you're scared about nails and stuff and electricity or whatever. But that's there we're gonna resell this because I don't I hate this. I don't know why this is even here. I don't remember putting this here, but it's here. And then also over here we have obviously have the Live Simply Ackle candle that I burn all the time. It's so tasty, so nice. It's called the Restore the Balance. And some plants and you know. <laughs> and a little tray. This tray is actually from work. I used to work in a kitchen design company. Dean, you can, when we're doing changeovers of all the samples, this one wasn't available anymore, so she said I could take it home with me. So I took it home with me and I just use it as a little tray here, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, I have a lovely variant one that I brought with me to go away that I'm gonna put here instead because I like, I like curves in, in the bedroom, like shapes, like curves are nice because it softens the space. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's get everything cleared out and get this room in tip top shape. I mean, obviously this whole thing will be changing in about four months. I want to change the color of the walls, new curtains. I mean, if that camera shakes while you're flexing your muscles in the fucking mirror, I swear to God, these curtains are going to change eventually. But I actually really like these curtains in this room. I do like the thickness and the heaviness of them and they fall perfectly. And a new chair for there, new armchair here, little coffee table. Anyway, you'll see it all in a minute. So let's jump into this. Okay, so first things first, we need to clear all the unnecessary things that we're not using anymore out because we don't need them. Why are they here? <laughs> and then we start loading everything in, so let's go. Oh my god. I'm not even lying, I have no idea what's even in here. <laughs> so uh, this will be a surprise for both of us. Receipts, because you know you have to keep your receipts, guys. You don't keep your receipts for tax and everything. Oh, these lovely little candles that um, Tara, Tara's mum got me. Thank you, Nora. My COVID cert. A whistle to find my keys because I always lose things, and that was a present for my brother. A Lana gift card. Some of your design magazines, and that's all. So it's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot of work. So. When I tell you these are the only things I use, these command strips, oh my goodness, they're literally like a lifesaver. They make putting up art so easy. And this is the finished result. I think it's 
a massive improvement. This feels brighter, there's more color, and I'm a lot more happier in it. So we added in our mirror, our armchair, that's where I'm gonna sit now and read, <laughs> or go on my laptop or go on my phone or whatever. This beautiful lamp down from Galway as well. I got it in Zara, which is like such a sleek floor lamp, I think. And I think it goes every different style, so I think it was a worthwhile investment, even though it's very cheap. <laughs> then over here we have another coffee table. Magazines are going to go, you know, just if, or like if I want to rest something down, my coffee or something. And then over here, we changed it. the art print to this one, which I much prefer. I like the black frame on it and the fact that it actually is framed and has like a glass front on it, I think it's nice. Got a new plant. I got these in Ikea a few weeks ago and I just think they're so cool. So cheap as well, like so cheap. So if you're ever in Ikea, do pick up some of the greenery because this is just so easy to interject into any space. Then I have this beautiful little lamp. This actually should turn on, but the battery's dead. It's a chargeable one. And it has a lovely little light that it omits and I really like it. Then we just redone this with like a marble tray, candle, again, another candle. This one's so good to be honest, that one. <laughs> I just love this area. This little stool is from H&M. And I much prefer it to the butterfly one because there's a lot of wood in this room. Um, and I wanted to break it up in some way and I like the little fabric that's here as well. It's like a nice little linen color. I better be in frame, Dean. And that's this space. So let me know guys what you thought of it down below if you'd like me to do more videos like this. If you'd like some tips on styling, I think it's very important to have like a nice eye line so not everything's at the same height. You have like taller, you know, there's like nice silhouettes, like breaks, and more solid shapes, a bit of metals, stones, like a lot of different mixes of different textures, which I really like, and different colors, and I just love it. So it's gonna set the tone for what's to come with the rest of my room, because I love to paint the root walls a completely different color. I wanna change the bed, headboard, lamps, lighting, wardrobes, everything. And it's gonna be like a little DIY project, so it'll be a fun one to kind of do so stick around if you want to see that and yeah oh also this i bought this myself like four years ago i think it was it was like a little investment <laughs> it's from rabbit's furniture in castle bar yeah i just love it, it just goes everything and it's seen me through so many different phases of this area over here because i've changed it so many times but anyway that's this space <laughs> let me know what you thought down in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one bye